yeah good morning friends this is Ravi Kiran from Ravi Kiran Tech Logs uh, today video is uh, how to install Active Directory certificate services on 2008 server so let's start and before that uh, please watch uh, till end so that you know how to configure uh, Active Directory certificate services so that I'll show you so please learn from my video click on server manager so default uh, roles active directory domain services and dns and file services let's click on add roles and uh, click next so it is not selected so now i'm going to install this role so select active directory certificate services click next so it will display active directory uh, certificate services adcs so services provide a certificate infrastructure to enable a uh, senior such as uh, secure wireless networks virtual private networks and ipsec uh, network access uh, network production and encryption file system smart card logon these features are enabled in, in this uh, server so this is a ca servers for authentication purpose so let's click on next and certificate authority so here we have uh, multiple uh, role services so certification authority one and certification authority web enrollment so you can select this one also and online responder and network device enrollment so you can uh, let's see uh, let's click this one okay ca is used to issue and manage certificates uh, multiple cas can be linked to a form a public key infrastructure so this one we are going to configure and uh, certificate authority web enrollment so a simple web interface that allows user to perform such as task uh, request and renew certificates from web interface that service will be enabled and online responder so online responder uh, makes a certificate uh, revocation and checks a uh, data accessible to clients in the compl uh, complex network environment and uh, click on network device enrollment service so network device enrollment means if any networks uh, um, it, it will manage routers and network devices so we are not doing this one and the certificate enrollment web services this service enables uh, users and computers to enroll for in enroll for an in, in, uh, renew certificates even when the computer is not a member of domain so this is uh, like uh, joined uh, temporarily into the network like security uh, boundary of network uh, computer network this uh, uh, service is uh, enabled uh, to uh, get a automatic enrollment for these users and computers in this domain and other uh, outside network also we can add this ca to authenticate to our uh, network resources and uh, certificate enrollment policy web services this is also web service so let's select so i'm going to click here other is certificate web and service cannot be installed at the same time okay so it cannot be installed in the same time once we configure this one we can install later on so we are going to uh, install uh, enterprise so we are into domain so it can be used active directory services to issue and manage certificates so we are going to configure enterprise so standalone means it's a standalone uh, not use uh, active directory services so if uh, single network you can use this one uh, if you have large network large user information large websites large uh, large ia servers are there you can use this enterprise click next yeah this is a ca uh, informational so root ca can uh, will be configured on this so if you select this one uh, installing the first or uh, only certificate other in the public key infrastructure so this is one i'm going to select click next create a new public pri uh, uh, new pri private key i use a private key existing private key so we are not having uh, existing so we are using new private key click next so our encryption uh, cryptography service provider so microsoft so i'm selecting 2048 uh, if you want to select 4096 also so let's have default 
so this one SHA one I'm selecting click next S yeah common name of this CA is uh, Kiran domain hyphen windows 2000 hyphen CA if you want to change you can change the name uh, this is the name suffix so in which location so it is integrated with Active Directory so next so expiry uh, like you can mention years month dates so uh, it's default uh, the five years so if you want to change you can change 10 years if you want to change 20 years 20 years so based on that you can mention here okay and you can like this for 100 years also you can mention so by default I'm selecting five years so click next and certificate database okay certificate database uh, stored in uh, system 32 cert log fo uh, folder and uh, logs also stored in cert log folder so default if you want to change you can change the location next select the type of authentication client will use when sending a request to the web services so web integrated uh, authentication so i am selecting this one so default so client certificate authentication so if x x.509 certificates so authentication will be happen and user and uh, name and password select this option if you would like to use us to enter a username and password to authenticate the web services so I'm doing uh, integrated so if domain user so by default it can be authenticated directly click next so if you have any uh, certif uh, certificate you can import here or uh, choose this one so we have not configured any choose and assign a certificate for SSL later so we don't have any SSL certificate so click next so by default IAS service is going to be configured uh, with this uh, Active Directory certificate role so by default it is selected next so by default all the options has been selected IAS 6 and IAS 7 it is there so click next and uh, Active Directory services so it it will show you all the confirmation information like what details has been selected and you can verify here enterprise root and SHA1 and uh, 2048 uh, encryption everything will be here and uh, we have validity of the certificate enter here click next uh, click on install so it started it is installing active directory certificate services after that web services and .NET framework features and uh, remote server administration tools and uh, windows process activation service all the five uh, components going to be installed let's wait So installation is uh, running if you like this video click on like and share and subscribe my next video is uh, IS uh, web server so I'm going to implement a website so you can uh, wa uh, wait for next uh, video Okay, installation is almost done. Okay, configuring.
okay collecting installation results so almost done yeah done so now we can see here installation succeed so it's a green mark green tick mark so all the services has been installed click close so okay now you can go to start administrator tools you can see here certification authority this is the accurate certification authority so we have configured so it's showing ca see you can see all the folders has been configured so default templates are there this is the certificate server so you can verify here and uh, you can view the certificate this is the certificate five years you can copy to the file if you want to uh, export the certificate you can verify like uh, pk uh, cs uh, 7 uh, p 7 b extension include all the certificate path click next uh, you can save the file 2000 ca i am keeping so default you can export the certificate click okay now you can see here this is a certificate if you want to click okay it will show the certificate information you can double click and you can see like issued by uh, kiran domain hyphen windows 2000 hyphen ca you can uh, change the whatever name so i have kept default issued by and validity sha1 and uh, you can see 2048 encryption bit all the ca version digital sign digital signature everything will be default so this is this certificate is okay so this is the ca certificate so this certificate can be uh, add to all the uh, machines uh, if you want any um, ca certificate you can go to web services so default web services uh, you have one minute let me yeah so default uh, web services also is configured if you want to request any new certificate uh, you can request from uh, this IS server so this is the local so let's see uh, let's verify one minute uh, let's go to administrator tools is manager expand expand sites expand default site so you have cert so you go to manage and browse this is a certificate uh, um, url you can uh, request a new certificate or download a CA certificate everything in will be done by this link so if you want to request any uh, new certificate click request and uh, user certificate or advanced certificate okay let's select advanced certificate create and submit a request to the CA so you want to give all the details so if you want to I have a, a certificate so you can configure from here and uh, certificate request so you can copy here uh, certificate uh, encryption data and uh, submit so that certificate will be uh, displayed in this uh, roles issued see here uh, domain controller certificate is issued CA exchange certificate is issued let's see if any pending requests are there it will display here if, if any failed request it will be display here like that you can create here templates also so template to issue like uh, for which you uh, you are going to give uh, you can give here and this is the templates uh, default templates user and computer and web server so these services will be configured certificates will be default okay thanks for watching and uh, 
if you like this video click like and share and uh, if you want to verify this uh, windows 2008 ca properties you can see all the information security storage extension so all the information will be uh, stored in this location okay you can you can audit the logs also backup and restore and ca database so this can be enabled so if any manage issue or anything it will be allowed so default click apply okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day